first eight against the rival Twins with 11 more to go. Tag teaming on the Sports Center Showcase highlight with me is Baseball Tonight's Tim Kirkchin. Ready, Tim? Uh, we're ready. Indians and the Twins entered Wednesday tied for first in the Central. We had no score in the top of the third. Perhaps you caught the game on ESPN. Runners on first and second for Robbie Alomar. Alomar. Contact the looper, Tory Hunter. All over it, knows what to do. Throws to third. Omar Vizquel out at third, but Kenny Lofton would score. One nothing. Indians, Alomar hitting 352. Jason Maxwell lays out to Rob Juan Gonzalez with a web gem. Nice play by Corey Koski's replacement, Tim. All right, bottom of the six here, one nothing still in it. Kenny Lofton had a tough night. He got a late jump on this ball. Normally, Kevin, Kenny Lofton catches that ball, but it drops in, and the Twins are back in this game. Tied up at one. Next batter, Jason Maxwell. So smooth, blooping it. This one drops in front of Lofton and takes a turf hop. Jones running all the way from first, gets the green light. Good move because he scores. Twins up two to one. And Linda, Kenny Lofton has to throw that ball home in the air. There's no way you should have scored from first on that ball. Todd Jones was brought in by the Twins, acquired from Detroit. Very good pitcher, has trouble against the Indians, and Will Cordero makes him pay there with a hit up the middle. Top of the 10th, Cabrera, the bunt, Bob Wells, A.J. Persniski lets it drop. Tom Kelly not thrilled with that decision. Let's take another look. The old I got it, you got it thing happened, and the Twins can't afford to give the Indians another out, but they did, and it would cost them, right? Oh, it absolutely cost him. Here's with Troy Hawkins. He has pitched 40 and two-thirds innings this year and has given up 70 base runners. That is ridiculously high for a closer. Here's Juan Gonzalez with a two-run double. Eight games this year against the Twins. Juan Gonzalez has 13 RBI. And then Marty Cordova, another Twins killer, of course, against his ex-mates. Two runs would score on that. And the Indians go on to crush the Minnesota Twins. More on Juan Gonzalez, who's hitting now 394 with four homers and 13 RBI in eight. Yeah, that ain't nothing but an ultra perm. Top of the first, no score. Manny Ramirez is single to left field off Tim Hudson. Terrence Long going to come up gunning. Jose Offerman, good night. You're out. Game still scoreless until the bottom of the first when Jason Jambi tells Frank Castillo, it ain't where you've been, but where I'm about to go. Jambi's 26 of the season. It is 2-0 A's just like that. Bottom third. Now the A's up 2-1. And we have got complete and utter chaos. Johnny Damon, line drive to right field. Everything is normal. Trot Nixon cannot find the ball. Where's the ball? Johnny Damon keeps on running. He's going to keep on running. Keep on running, Johnny. Mom, I got a home run. I, I did. I, I ran all the way around. I scored. Umpires come out to see what happened. They decide to call the play a ground rule double because the ball was in a beer cup. Watch it again. Rolls around. There it is in a cup. Gentleman finished with his beverage. Nixon left it alone. Top four. Red Sox down 2-1. Doug Mirabelli, chopper over the mound. F.P. Santangelo, diving grab. Jambi with a nice scoop. A is still up 2-1. And with Hudson on the mound, that's all they needed. Tim Hudson's career mark now. 45-14, and 11-1 at, at night this year. Then a pro pitching, and he hits Robert Fick. Second batter, Bobby Higginson at the plate, and Higginson makes contact opposite way with the double down the line. Third batter, intentional walk to Tony Clark. Fourth batter, Randall Simon, simple as that, clears the bases with that knock. It's a triple for Simon. It's now 9-6 Tigers. Fifth batter, Shane Halter, double. Simon would score to make it 10-6 Detroit. Sixth batter, Damian Easley, opposite way, picking his spots. Halter would come in, 11-6 Tigers. Your seventh batter, Davey Cruz. Is there any doubt? It sure is. They're missing the, you know, the kegs at first and third. 13-6 Tigers, Juan and Carnarcion. Found some space. Ninth batter of the inning, Roger Cedeno. So fast as Cedeno beats it out for an infield singer. Single 10th batter, Jose Macias grounds out to first. Folks, this is the first out of the ninth inning. <laughs> 11th batter, your pinch hitter, Ryan Jackson. Jackson can do no wrong as he reaches on the infield single. It's 14-6. Jose Lima, entertain yourself. 12th batter, Wendell McGee. Oh, just a walk. 13th batter of the ninth inning, Randall Simon. Yeah, the same Randall Simon who was up before. Cedeno would score. 15-6 Detroit. Bases are now loaded. Nine runs so far for the Tigers. Bad
bags full, perfect for Shane Halter. His first career Grand Slam, 19 to 6, still only one out, guys. It is a softball game. Yeah. Bobby Higginson can't believe it. Jose Lehman Halter celebrating, and Damian Easley. That's his sixth hit of this ball game. Even though it feels like they all came in the ninth inning. 16th batter, Davy Cruz. Oh, what do you know? It's a fly out to center. Two outs now. Boo. 17th batter, Encarnacion to third. That ends the inning. That is it. Just 13 runs in the ninth for Detroit. See, and believe me, the scoreboard tells you. Tigers, they tie a modern big league record by scoring 13 runs in the ninth. Last time that happened, the then California Angels pulled it off against, you guessed it, the Texas Rangers. His counterpart Shane Reynolds moves up a day because Pedro Estacio has a mild strain of the bicep. Bottom four, Braves down one nothing. Ken Caminiti. Well, Kenny hits a bloop and it drops between three Astros. Chipper Jones comes home from third. Top five now, Shane Reynolds pops one into center field. No disrespect to Ken Griffey Jr., but Andrew Jones is out of his mind. He has no peer right now in center field. Top seven, two runners on, one out. Brad Ausmus hits into the inning ending. Six, four, three, double play. Game still tied at one. Tom Glavin has done his part. Extras now, Jose Cabrera pitching for the Braves. Bagwell into the left side of the hole. Ray Sanchez, a great pick up and throw. Great scoop at first from Caminiti. Great play all the way around. Top 12, bases loaded, one out. Julio Lugo, a drive to left field. B.J. Serhoff out there. This is not exactly high drama, but it is a sacrifice fly. Brad Ausmus beats the throw to make it 2-1. to one. And as I said, it wasn't great stuff, but it's how the game was won. The Astros trying to stay within two and a half of the Cubs. Mike Jackson, two scoreless. Out of one for the talented Scott Rowland. Brown ball, that could be a double play. Rowland hustling down the line and beats it out. He keeps the inning alive. That's what I'm talking about. Next batter, Bobby Abreu. Abreu. That's nice. That's going to drop off the wall for a double. That scores the hustling Scott Rowland, and the Phils are up 2-1. to one. Fundamental baseball. The Phillies know how to do it. They're slowly coming alive. Bottom four, one on, two out. Dave Coggin at the plate. He's the pitcher. Dave Coggin said it was blind luck about his first career hit in RBI. Bills up 3-1. to one. Padres down 4-1, to 2-1. To one. Jimenez facing Coggin. Jimenez past Lee. Abreu comes up throwing, but Bobby overthrows home. That allows two to score. Padres now within one. Next batter, Tony Gwynn facing Real Cormier. Gwynn works the walk. Damian Jackson next up. Two on, one out with the Padres down one. That's a smash. Cormier all over it. What a play. Doubling up the runner at second. The Phils win. They're now within two games of Atlanta. David he got his own thing going. Here's Piazza. It all started with Mike. Diving stop by Lance Painter. Got him. Look at the little Piazza man. Piazza bites. Oh, Armando Benitez in the ninth, making it interesting. Mark Sweeney follows up the second home run. It's 5-4. Two on. Oh. Armando muscled up against Mark Loretta. It's all over. Everyone's got to shave. Wants a do-over. Facing Scott Stewart. Yeah, boo. Edmonds was 0 for 6 with 4 Ks. Top of the ninth. Hitting coach Mitchell Page talking to Fernando Vina about new pitcher Graham Lloyd. Hey, it's good to communicate, men. Vina with a double. Fernando, 4 for 6 in this game. 2 RBI. He's hitting 302. It was 5-3 cards. Bottom of the ninth. Jeff Bloom facing Dave Beers with a runner on third. Bloom. Talk about money, his sixth home run this year. He had two hits in this game. He ties the game at five. We go to extras. So in the bottom of the 11th on a tie game, Michael Barrett, the catcher you don't know, who plays for Montreal against Luther Hackman. That's not a hack. That's a game-winning hit. Bloom comes home to score, and the Expos would win this game. Crushing loss for St. Louis, considering the Cardinals scored three in the ninth to overcome a 3-2 deficit, only to see the Expos victimize Rolando. Ichiro on first, no score. Bottom of the first, Edgar Martinez. Alex Gonzalez, uh-oh, loses it. It's an error, but Edgar is hitting 429 in his last four games. Two outs, two batters later. Brett Boone, grounder. Gonzalez, um, still thinking about that other play. Not charging an error there. Mariners go on and score three runs in that inning. Edgar Martinez, that is deep. How deep off of Chris Carpenter? Well, it's over the fence. His 1,000th career RBI, Mariners. 
crush the Blue Jays. Edgar Martinez becoming the 26th active player with 1,000 career RBI. Ichiro, four for six, two runs scored, two RBI. He's hitting 475 with 13 runs in eight games against Toronto this year. Southside nine against the Disney Company team. Top three, Sox leading 3-1, two on Sandy Alomar Jr. Off Jared Washburn, his fourth of the year into the dinosaur patch, it looks like. White Sox now lead 6-1. Top nine, Sox up 13-1. One on and Maglio Ardonez, is it fair? Yes, it is his second of the game and the White Sox win by a couple of touchdowns in a baseball game. The Sox score in all but two innings as they collect a season high 15 runs. Cubs leading the NL Central, second to three in a hot day in Chi-Town. Jason Bure, 10 and two thirds scoreless innings, bottom second. He's trying to bunt a brilliant double play from Todd Helton, 3-6-4. We're moving out of the top of the four. The Cubs respond. Terry Shumpert, a little shallow flare to right, and EY, Eric Young fighting the sun, and he makes a great catch to end the inning. Bottom five, Cubs still up one nothing. Gutierrez, the hero from a night ago, a shot up the middle, nearly takes John Thompson's head off. That scores Young. Two nothing Cubs. Meanwhile, Bure in complete control. He's gonna strike out Terry Shumpert. Then he's gonna get Sal Fasano in the same fashion. And finally, Greg Norton, you two can go away. Eight Ks, nowhere in runs. He extends his scoreless streak to 17 and two thirds. Jason Berade rolling. He allowed only one runner to get as far as third base. 68 of his 96 pitches were strikes. Don Baylor said Berade did a great job getting through the seventh inning. It was pretty unbearable there, 10 or maybe not. Johnson looking for his 15th win. A 12 inch height advantage as you see there over Jesus Sanchez, 6'10 to 5'10, but early on, not a factor at all. Sanchez, not big, but he can do some things. Tony Womack, a conscientious objector. He doesn't swing the bat. Junior Spivey does, but he doesn't get it. Another strikeout, second inning. Mark Grace, you did not want to do it, but yes, you did. Sanchez, five Ks in the first three. Johnson in a jam in the third, two on, two out, still scoreless. Alex Gonzalez, 96 miles an hour, can't catch up with that. Deep backs break through in the fifth. One nothing, runners in second and third for Spivey. Lines one down the left field line. Damian Miller and Tony Womack can take their time coming in. Spivey into second, standing, two-run double. D-backs up 3 nothing. Bottom five, 4 nothing. D-backs. Johnson in complete control. Charles Johnson goes down swinging. So too does Jeff Abbott. Kurt Schilling, well, he's not pitching. He's chewing gum and then, whoops. It's the old five-second rule, and if it's not, it's not that dirty. He just puts it right back in his mouth. Sure. Johnson in another jam in the seventh. Base is loaded for Cliff Floyd, the all-star. Fouls off the first pitch. Takes a look at the second pitch, doesn't like it, and now the third, he's going to take a hack and doesn't get it, and Randy Johnson would yell. He always yells. There you go. Seven innings, six hits, eight Ks. The unit wins his sixth consecutive decision and clinches his fifth consecutive 15-win season. Straight road victory. Barry Bond sitting on 48 homers against Elmer Dessens. Got him looking with the heat. Top of the third, 2 nothing. Giants. Bonds up again, and Dessens freezes him. Bonds losing his appetite over that call by umpire Jerry Meals. Later in the third, two on for JT Snow. Snow off the foot of Dessens, right to Aaron Boone, who makes the play at first, just like they practiced it. Bottom five, five four Giants, bases full for Aaron Boone. Looking like his brother Brett making things happen, driving in some runs. Sean Casey will make a play at the plate, and Sean Casey will be out at the plate on the throw from Rich Aurelia, 6-5 Reds. It was 9-5 Cincy, top of the seventh, bonds up again, and Scott McRae gets him looking with the heat. Three Ks looking all in the same pitch. He'd also walk a couple of times with Barry. Bonds up, bags full. That pitch allows Andres Galarraga to score because the pitch wasn't a good one, 9-7 Reds, and then the Reds elect to intentionally walk Bonds with first base open. Jeff Kent with a bags full, two out, and Ken Griffey Jr. says, don't pass that torch to Andrew Jones just yet. The man still has the glove. Ken Griffey Jr., the game-saving catch. Kent was four for four at the time of that at bat for the Giants, just their second loss in 13 games. Bonds sitting on 48 homers after 114 team games. He's still three ahead of Big Mac's pace in 98. Besides his game-saving grab, Junior had a sack fly and run scoring single, and he has a seven-game hitting streak. Dodgers look to widen their NL West lead over San Francisco. Top four, Jimmy Anderson facing Adrian Beltre. And Beltre yokes the ball to left. Brian Giles going back and makes a sick running catch. Sacrificing for the team. A watch and a listen.
Ow. Ow. That's a big fella. Like Jason Kendall up bottom of the fourth, two love Dodgers. Batting in the fifth slot for the first time since July of 99. Ties the game with an RBI. Kendall batted 348 from 96 to 99. Batting fifth. Maybe you ought to go back there. Bottom four still tied at two. Tyke Redman up with runners on first and second. Pop to shallow right. Sean Green says no, sir. Great grab there. After two sack flies in the bottom of the fifth, Pirates lead 4 2. Top six. Gary Sheffield with one swing of the bat evens the game up at four. Top six still. Next batter, Marquise Grissom with Chef on at first. Nobody out. And Grissom going to hit what perhaps could be a double play ball, but Abraham Nunez misplays it. E4 runners first and second. Lloyd McClendon says, What are we doing? So now Eric Karros has two on with nobody out. He tells Jimmy Anderson, good to see you, kid, but I got to go. Anderson's ERA 19.06 in his last three. Three-run shot from Karros, his 12th. It was 7-4 Dodgers. They win 9-4. And L. West leading club from L.A. moves. Game, Yankees up 3-0, David Justice heating up. His third homer in as many games, that one off of Nick Beerbrot. Number 13 on the year for Justice, 5-0. Two batters later, don't call him Play-Doh. Clay Bellinger, two-run home run. First start at third, by the way, on this night for Bellinger, 7-0. Tampa Bay's pitching just burst. Zambrano walking Jorge Posada, 10-1 Yanks as Derek Jeter comes in. Justice with one out, bags full. He also walks, 11-1. Doug Creek in, Alfonso Soriano. He's hit by the pitch, 12-1 Yankees. The bubble truly burst for Tampa Bay. No question. Andy Pettit improving to 11-4 after Yankee losses. The Homers, every year since 82, he's sitting on nine as Baltimore plays in Kansas City. He's facing Chad Durbin. Uh-oh. Hang him. Bang him. This is his fifth home run in a visiting ballpark since he announced his retirement. So he's taking care of all these people. On the final game, too, in that city. And he's hitting 16 straight games only.